consent to a divorce. I will fight it every step of the way. I will tie you up in the courts for years. No matter how many judges you manage to buy, I will make you bleed before I let you throw me out like yesterday's newspaper. Not after all the years of misery I've endured being married to you. Are you out of your mind? After what you've done to me and my family, it'll be an open and shut case. Oh, far from it, Julian. You and I both know you can't afford to get rid of me. No, your family still needs my family's influence. Oh, the Cranes may have all the money, but my family has the political clout and respect you need. And besides, you need my silence. Tell her to stop, Julian. Mm, he can't, Rebecca, because he knows I'm right. I know too much about the Crane's dirty linen. I know where all the bodies are buried. Oh, the headlines about Ethan's fraternity? <sighs> Pale in comparison, don't they, Julian? How dare you threaten me? I have endured years of misery from you two. I deserve a wife who wants me, a wife who welcomes me to her bed. Well, I'm your wife, so get used to it. I don't know, Mother. It looks like you may not get Julian after all. Watch me. If your precious son Ethan can marry for love, then so can I. Oh, it's an unorthodox proposal, but I accept. Excuse me? Well, that was a marriage proposal, wasn't it? Where do you get your gall, Rebecca? Oh, I didn't misunderstand, did I? No, you did not. My little crumb bun. Will you marry me, Becky? Oh, of course. I can't wait to be Mrs. Julian Crane. <laughs> this isn't over, Julian. Far from it. Dogs in heat. Blazes. Maybe that'll cool you off. I want to speak with you, Julian. Anything you care to say to me can be said in front of my fiance. Come with me right now, Julian, or I will break off more than your engagement. Dear. Oh, yes, I would. With pleasure. If you don't come with me right this instant, little Julian will never rise and shine again. I won't be long. No news there. <clears throat> you will never get away with divorcing me, Julian. Really? Who's going to stop me, Ivy? You? No. I always get what I want. I'm a crane. Oh, yes. You're a crane, Julian. And if you divorce me, I'll tell the world what I've learned while living in this house of whodunits. Like, um, hmm, what really happened to Martin Fitzgerald? You're afraid, aren't you, Julian? Terrified that I will tell everyone what happened to the real Martin Fitzgerald. You're bluffing. You don't know what happened to Pilar's husband. Maybe not. But I have a pretty good idea. Besides, I know someone who has a great knack for investigating just this sort of thing. <coughs> really? Who might that be? Martin's son, Luis. He's always suspected that the Cranes had something to do with his father's disappearance, so maybe I just have to point him in the right direction to start digging. You will do no such thing. Why not, Julian? I'll be spending lots of time with Luis once he becomes Ethan's brother-in-law. There is no proof that the Cranes had anything to do with Martin's disappearance. Nor will Luis find any. 
If that were true, you and Alistair wouldn't care that Luis and Sheridan met and fell in love. But you do care. You care enough to destroy Sheridan's happiness, to bribe Luis with the FBI training school, to hire an impersonator to break them up. What's next, Julian? Faulty breaks? Landmines? Shut up. You know, if Luis digs deep enough, maybe he'll unearth what really happened to his father. And maybe he'll dig your grave in the process. Oh, Luis, Luis, Luis. Yes, remember that name when you're discussing our final divorce settlement, Julian. Luis, Luis, Luis. will never find proof that we removed his father. Never. As far as Ivy threatening to talk, dead wives tell no tales.